Chernobyl nuclear plant authorities say the construction of a new shelter meant to prevent radioactive leakage from the reactor site will be completed in time uh, in 2015. But exactly 27 years on from the world's worst nuclear disaster, some are asking why it's taken so long. Arise News' Jerome Evans has more. Frozen in time. The town of Pripyat was evacuated on April 26, 1986, after a meltdown at the nearby Chernobyl power plant. A cloud of radioactive dust was released over Europe in what remains the world's worst nuclear disaster. Some still remember what Pripyat was like before Chernobyl turned it into a ghost town and left a 30-kilometer exclusion zone now officially called the Zone of Alienation. I saw this city in joy. I remember when this city was young. Great, beautiful people were living here. There were many children here, many, many roses. Of course I feel pain. A makeshift cover, the sarcophagus, was built within six months of the explosion, with workers often putting their lives at risk to complete it. It covers the stricken reactor and was designed to protect the environment from radiation for at least 30 years. Now, as Ukraine marks the 27th anniversary of Chernobyl, a new structure is being built, designed to ensure water and snow never enter the sarcophagus and that contaminated dust doesn't spread from the site. The new safe confinement facility, which is meant to last for the next 100 years, will also facilitate the deconstruction of the reactor. But some have criticised the slow pace of construction in a country where corruption has often dominated the headlines. Everyone has gotten used to saying, what is Ukraine? This is the place where they're stealing money meant for the sarcophagus. Look, the money is standing right there. People from different countries in the world are working here. Banks are controlling it, audits are being conducted. Not a single penny has been stolen. Radiation levels in the exclusion zone around Chernobyl are said to be no longer dangerous to health, and studies have shown that birds and wildlife are now returning to the area. But the ghost town of Pripyat is likely to remain uninhabited by humans for many years to come. Jerome Evans, Arise News.